hello everyone so this is the continuation of part 1 video so after uploading the video lecture so you can easily go through the video whatever you uploaded and students can easily watch your video according to their subjects and also the topics so once you uploaded just visit the course page or the subject page so in course page or uh, subject page you will get the contents so whatever the files you uploaded whether it is a video lecture or link or any other types of files you can easily see under the course section and the next method will be the if you want to add any type of file whether it is pdf word or ppt so you should use the option file under the resource heading so once you click on the option file just you need to add this option so once you add it the file option you will get the new page so in that new page you can mention the name of the topic and also the description of the topic whatever you want to add and here also you can add videos so this is another method you can use it for the for uploading the video lectures so here also you can add images and also the video lectures and also you can upload the files whether it is a pdf file word file or ppt you can add it here but the maximum size of the new file will be the 40 mb so that you need to maintain here so once you added the files you can easily upload all the contents related to your subjects so once you added all the files you can directly visit to the course page then you can easily see the added documents like ppt or word file or any other types of links related to your subjects so everything can be added by using these options so you are having two methods first method will be by using the lesson option and second method will be by using the file option so in file option you can easily upload all types of files whether it is ppt pdf or any other types of files but remember the size will be the 40 mb but in case of lesson section you can add images related to your subjects or video lectures so link of the video lecture so directly you can copy from the youtube if you want to show any type of video to the students so these are the things you can easily do it by using this particular learning management system so i hope all of you understood this procedure and try to go through the steps and uh, prepare the all e learning contents and also the video lectures and after preparing this you can directly log into your teacher profile and upload all the documents so thank you for listening